Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I hope that you're all doing really well. I'm just getting the last little bits of my stuff set up. I think I'm just about ready. Nothing too fancy that I have to worry about too much here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's a fixed chair. Fix me. <laughs> so, um, we're here. We're still in Balmora. <laughs> of course. That's where we left off last time. And I figured I'd just go ahead and <laughs> let's not waste any time here because we have a lot to cover. Um, yes, yeah, so we have to go get a key for Sugar Lips Habasi. We can either get the key from the owner of the Nerano Manor himself, by means of obviously taking it from him, <laughs> uh, or we can go get it from his servants. And one of his servants is by the name of Savoir Trendel, and he is a member of the Kamata. He is a naughty boy. He's part of a gang, a nasty gang, a bunch of murdering, conniving individuals. But there is a little bit of a way we can get around it. So, yes, we can go steal the key off of Boris. And I'll actually show you where that guy actually lives. Oh! Oh! It looks like I'm going to have to fix my uh, uh, options again. They don't actually save every single time. That's depressing. So let's make that that. My jump. There we go. Look at that. That's funny how that does not always save. Good to know now, right? We ah, there we go. Now we can level. All right, but I can't hear the sound because I didn't put my phones over. There we go. Oh, I should probably check. Let me see here. Let me check something real quick. I'm gonna kind of. No, I'm not exiting the game. I just kind of had to pause it for a second. Double checking my sounds here. Checking my sounds here. Checking my... Okay, I think we're good. I just thought, I thought it, there was something that sounded funny. But I was mistaken. Everything is fine. Okay, there we go. Just make sure it comes up. Oh! I didn't tell Kaji to go into this mode. <laughs> I didn't say that at all. I hate wearing my headphones like this, but I don't like having both of my ears covered. How does this happen? Oh! <laughs> Tab is how you change point of view. Okay. This is run. Let's put our uh, hands away because we're not going to cast anything right now. Jump. We're going to jump. We're going to jump. We're moving a little faster. Not much faster. But we're getting there. So Nerano Manor is actually up here, and essentially the rich part of town. This is the main council seat area for House Lalu, and I believe this manor is this one? No, that's Lalu Manor. Um, You've got, got my ear, stuff. let's hear Maybe it. it's this one. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Okay, yeah, and if just, just walk in. Yep, and here we are. Here's the manor. It's kind of dark in here, isn't it? There we go. Let's brighten it up a little bit. So, yeah, we come in here. We've got a pretty nice little spread here. And here is the guy himself. You may speak. Now, I'm going to look around real quick because I want to make sure that I am not misinformed. But I am pretty sure. The only way to get a key is either directly off him or off a servant. I'm pretty sure there is not another key. Oh, jeez, it's floating around. Any good books, sir? I can't remember if he ever has any good books. Yeah, sometimes I like to double check. So, all right, let's go up here. Oh, there's a little chest over here that we can uh, get into. All right, let's see where. Lock. 
use my apprentice lockpick. Oh gosh, that's funny. I just, I just disappear and reappear. Okay. Sneaky. Okay, anything good? Oh, Earth will take those. <laughs> yes! Exciting, isn't it, uh, Nicaro? Riveting uh, gameplay here. Then go up here. And here is his upstairs. Just go right in. Oh, gosh. Anyway, I'm missing a light. I don't think so. One, two, three. Was this one not? Maybe I don't have one of them pointed correctly. No? Maybe it's because I don't have this one pointed down. I don't know. Yeah, I am kind of casting a shadow. Ow! Oh, shoot. My arm hurts. My apologies. When I, went to the do when I went to the doctor the other day, of course, you know, they love to stick you with needles. Alright. Well, we might as well, since we're here. Okay, hang on. Always sneak. He has potions. Take all those. Oh! That's a trap. I'm glad I did not do that any further, because that would have sucked. Let's untrap that first. Just one, one. There we go. Okay. There we go. Trap has been disarmed. Excellent. Okay. Now we can put on. Fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. That's what we say all the time. Everything is fine. There's really nothing to worry about. Ooh, and oh, this is a level 40. I should go in there. Problem solved. There we go. Ah, money. I'll take it. Anything in the drawers? Oh, some fancy threads. Which I kind of like these. I might actually take all those. I'll take all those. Wait, I'm over encumbered. How the heck am I over encumbered already? The heck did I grab? Oh, I forgot I still had this stuff on me. Ah, it's so heavy! Uh, well, these shirts shouldn't have been that heavy. Oh, wow, apparently. Oh, the robe is. Uh, yeah, I guess it can. Okay, well, hmm. Well, you know what we're gonna do? We're going to. change out our threads. Here. Where's that robe? There we go. Where's that robe? There we go. Now we look so fancy, don't we? We look so nice. We're so sexy. All right, let's start dropping off. Let me drop off all these. Let's see. I need these outfits here. These. Crappy amulet or the ring. Uh, we're still pretty heavy though. Hmm. Let's see if I can use up these real quick. Potions don't weigh anything. There we go. Nope, that didn't make anything. Oh wait, cancel that. I don't want to use diamonds just yet. Will this make anything? No, that will not make anything. We're still over encumbered. Whoops. Alright, let's see what we can get rid of here. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Still short sword, dagger. We have two silver daggers? How much do they weigh? Oh, they don't weigh that much. Oh, I swear, it's this. Wait, there, it's only five. Oh, it's this one, 30. Alright. These are worth more than this crap, so you know what? We're dropping you. Screw you, man. Screw you! Okay. Money you hide in your bud? Nah, just some fancy clothes. Eh. Okay. Alright, so we're also gonna steal stuff in here. Aw, uh, nah, it's not worth it. I'm not gonna worry about that. If we did have, um, if we did need that, then yes, I would. Okay, so as you can see, yeah, we came upstairs. There's not really anything here. <laughs> Caught us, we're fine. <laughs> we're gonna save. 
I'm just going to have a little fun here. See if I can even take it off them. I don't think I'll be able to. Yeah, there's not really... There's not really any other way to do it, I don't think. But then again, there is another quest that we can Probably successfully nothing. get the key. It would be a little rough. Because, I mean, we're not very high level, so it'll kind of suck. Let's go over here. He doesn't see us. He doesn't have it on him. I nope, deal with and you. he's acting. <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately, I will reload the last save. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna load that. Yeah, he will catch us, that's fine. So you can't get the key off of him like that. Alright, so we're gonna go do it the way that I have always done it. I love that music. Ah, beautiful music. So we're gonna be going on a little trek. Can't jump that. <laughs> I'm not that good yet. Oh, you know, we're still pretty heavy. Should probably... <laughs> this is the fun part about this game. We're running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We're gonna have to go back to uh, Caldera. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? Right, I'm not gonna worry about casting my Night Eye at the moment. We're just gonna go... Perpetually tired. Okay. We're gonna go to Caldera. We got some more money to make. Greetings. That is the so sun, fast. Moons transform day to night. What was that? May I help? Everybody's so paranoid. I love all the conversations everybody has to themselves or who they think they're they think they're talking to someone. It's kinda of funny. Hello, sir. Speak freely, friend. Oh, I'll speak freely, yes. Oh! I think it's this lady I have to talk to, isn't it? Yeah, she's one of the blades trainers. I hope she doesn't give me anything heavy, because that'll suck right now. Let's see. Hello, dear, I want to talk to you. Uh, Blades Trainers, yeah, we got to talk to her, okay. Alright, she is going... Let's see here. Okay, of course we can train. You pay, of course, but much less than you would outside the Blades. And may I suggest you find someone to teach you the Detect Enchantment spell. Whenever you're exploring, it's good to know where enchanted items are. Sometimes that's where dangerous enemies are, holding the enchanted items. And sometimes that shows that shows items hidden from view, in deep pools or on high ledges. See Laros Urvarin, Uvin, the knife blade at Caldera. Okay. At the Caldera um, Governor's Hall. We're gonna call that good. We have that. To what do I owe this pleasure? Okay, so we'll go there. Whoops, let's go this way. Any books? Nope. Shouldn't have anything. Well, I mean, that's not true. She's she's useful. But in this case, we don't really yes. need her at the moment. Oh, gosh, who said that? Oh, hello, hello there. Keel can never pronounce your name. I'm sorry. I'm going to butcher it. I'm not going to bother saying it. Hello. So. I'm listening. Oh, hello. There we have a new person here. Vi Vis I'm going to say Vis uh, Visvova. Unfortunately, I, uh, I cannot read any of that, my dear. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, it looks like it could be um, Russian, if I'm uh, worth taking a wild guess. I apologize, uh, dear. I cannot, uh, <laughs> I do not speak or understand Russian at all. <laughs> I maybe only, maybe only know what it looks like. <laughs> Sorry, only English here. And maybe some broken Spanish every once in a blue moon. <laughs> oh, thank you for the host, Jag. Sorry, I think I just saw the, the notification. I don't think I heard my... My, uh, thing go off. That was weird. Yeah, no, it's fine, Vis. Welcome to the stream. Not a problem. Yeah, no, I'm, you know, from... I, I am from and live in the, the good old uh, United States. <laughs> so, yeah. Just good old Eng English, or English, as we sometimes jokingly say. <laughs> oh, my God, we all crap. This is terrible. I need to fix everything. There we go. Spanish swear words. I, hey, hey, watch it, you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna break out that in here. That's just rude. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. 
so now we got all that repaired, I can sell it to Creeper for full price. Hajit. Uh, did I? Uh, does he have full monies, or I have to wait? Oh, good, he has full monies. Okay, good. I don't have to worry about. <laughs> don't have to worry about uh, sleeping for uh, 24 hours. Okay. Uh, so, 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 all the dark brothers, that's goody. How are we doing here? Okay, good, we're doing fine. Uh, we only need to, we're gonna sell one of these silver daggers. I'm gonna keep one on hand, just in case. Uh, we have a lot. Okay, we're gonna sell all of this alcohol. Uh, this is the downside of potions. They all kind of start looking alike. Uh, yeah, well, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna sell that too. Oh, come on. No, nope, nope, I don't, nope. Wait, wait, hang on, wait, hang on a second. Okay, yeah, get rid of that. Anything with bad on it, I'm gonna sell. I made the potions to level my alchemy. That's about as far as it goes. All right, let's see. It's a good way to make money because you can see, I mean, you're thinking, oh, it's only 48 gold. Well, I mean, if you're really good at alchemy and you just sit there and make a shit ton of potions, you know, it, it adds up, you know, a little bit of extra pocket change. You'd be surprised. So don't ever sell yourself short on that. This is also another good way to make some quick cash. Bad effect ones. Nope, we're good. All right, anything else? Oh, yes, I forgot. Creeper, of course, will take all the bad china, but at least he will, you know. Remember, I, I'm convinced he is totally building a, 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 a big old uh, scamp army here. <laughs> So I am also, I'm not 100% sure on this as well, but from what I understand, Creeper is supposed to be um, Barbus, a version of Barbus, um, and Barbus is Clavicus Vile's hound, his, his faithful uh, companion hound. So anyone that's played Skyrim, and uh, just like just like in all the Elder Scrolls games, they ha there are Daedric quests, um, and... Uh, in uh, Skyrim, uh, you know, you'll come across certain individuals that will trigger um, the, uh, certain quests. Well, uh, in Skyrim, for the Clavicus Vile um, quest, uh, you will... I can't remember exactly where. I think it's... Um, oh, gosh. Now I'm... What's the name of that hole? I think it's Falkreath. It's the one far, far down south. If you travel there... The uh, smith will, you'll talk, if you talk to everybody, you talk to the smith, and the smith will say, Hey, I'm looking for my dog. He hasn't been around in a while. I really like that dog. Yada, yada. You, you kind of feel sorry for him. You say, Okay, fine. It ends up being an actual main quest instead of just a side quest. And you go out of town. You, t you take his advice. You go out of town. You try to find the dog. The dog shows up and he talks to you. And you find out later the dog is uh, uh, Barbus, Clavicus Viles, Faithful Hound. So, apparently in Morrowind, this guy is supposed to be a version of Barbus. I don't know if that's true or not. It's kind of funny, and almost, to me, it kind of makes sense. You know, just this freaking Daedra. This is, I mean, it's a scamp. Just sitting here, uh, making deals. You know, you know, giving you money for all this stuff. He's building an army for something, right? Thinking, okay, sure, I, I guess. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, okay, so we need to... Alright, so here, that's what we'll do. Thank you for all that money, sir! And all you can do is just bar... You can't, you can't make any deals with him. You can't haggle him. You just, you know... He'll sell you whatever, so... He'll, well, he won't sell you anything. Well, I mean, you can buy this stuff back, but you can just sell him whatever. Well. Alright, so that'll be that. We're gonna go back go over here. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Excuse me. I apologize. I apologize. Ugh, I just, huh. Downside of, uh, you know, eating lunch very fast before you have to scream. Oh. Okay, well, look at all these May I, I could you? sell. But I'm not gonna steal them now. May yes, I don't need your help right now. But maybe I'll need your help later. We'll see. Is there something you need? All right, we're a lot lighter. Do you want something from me? We need to go back to Bamora. I'm listening, please. Go ahead. Yay! Gosh, it's so fast. Did she just... Sweet moon sugar. Oh, sweet moon sugar. I have moon sugar. I have some moon sugar. Not a lot. But I have some. <laughs> Do you want something? 
Did she just totally snob me that question? Hello, Outlander. Yes. I hope you won't take too much of my time. Everybody has such a great attitude about you at the beginning. Oh, just wait. They'll, they'll get better. Well, most of them will get better. Not not entirely. Yes, Outlander. What? But soon. All right, now we can go on our little tiny um, field trip. Actually, technically everything's a field trip in this game. Okay. The flea, it speaks! The flea, there it is. Whee! All right. So I'm heading on over the bridge. This is the Odai River that they keep talking about. That You know, we, we talk to folks in town and they're giving us directions some of them via the uh, Odai River. Well, as you can see, the river, it pretty much goes right through town that way. So, yeah, it's very prevalent, very important to them. Here we go. Okay, so obviously we are very, very tired. We could nap, but I think I made... Okay, let's, let's take a potion. Restore fatigue. Ah, look at that. Look at that. A gradual... Um, it goes up because it's by so many seconds or whatever, so it's pretty nice. And that's one we made. Isn't that pretty impressive? That's actually, to some degree, that's almost better than some Restore Fatigue potions you'll just buy from the store. That are just, well, cheap. The cheap ones especially. They're crap. Honestly, if you can, if you want to be ahead of the game, alchemy's one way to do it. Okay. So I here we are. I'm good, I'm glad you're listening, because I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Here we are at Fort Moonmoth. This is one of many um, Imperial Legion... Uh, oh, I forgot! That was another faction you can join. The Imperial Legion. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, you can join the Imperial Legion. Yeah, the Blades that we're part of, that's completely separate. That's that's a different organization entirely. Imperial Legion is basically like you get to be one of these guys. Well, I mean, you get to be a soldier. Sort of, kind of. Keep Hello, moving. Sir. I'm not going to keep moving. I was told that you are looking for me, sir. All right, let's see here. Um, I forget what triggers it. Uh, okay, he's, okay yeah, Larius Varro, warrior and champion of the Imperial Legion. Okay, he says he's got work for me, but let's see. So latest rumors. Take care when walking the roads. There have been rumors of a bandit robbing careless travelers near La Ode. Oh, maybe we have to do this one for him first. Maybe. Let me see. A number of careless travelers have been attacked recently. Seems there's a Nor near La Ode who's been robbing the unwary. If you happen upon him, take care. And, of course, I'd be grateful if you took care of that problem for me. Maybe we have to do that one for him first and he'll like us a little bit more. I can't remember. Uh, well, La Ode's not that far from Say Denim because, you know, La Ode's actually over on that part of the world anyway. You know what? Maybe we'll go do that. That's a fun little side quest. If I do have to do that one, or even if I don't, it'll make him like us more. That's this way. Alright, let's see. So yeah. Oh, and the nice thing about the Imperial Legion is that's normally where you'll have the Imperial cult um, businesses slash shrines, if you will, um, which is very handy. They're very. It's very similar to the the Tribunal Temple here in uh, uh, the Morrowind area. Oh, I forgot about these herbs. We'll take. Oh, they didn't have anything on. Well, that's depressing. Oh, that. Go this way. Jump, 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 jump. Lots of jumping. I haven't run any critters out here. Of course, I need to be quiet about that running into critters. <laughs> eh, it's still early game. The monsters aren't out yet. I need, yeah, I need to go there. I need to talk to the flea. We're gonna talk to the flea. Oh, what do you ask of me? Can I talk? 
do you? Uh, I don't think that I can... Okay, yeah, we're fine. There's nothing particular I need to know about here. So if we go back to Sedanin, which is nice little cheap travel Why here. Why walk when you can ride? And let's see here. Oh, there's a signpost right over here. I thought so. Let's go over here. Get my bearings straightened out. The fleet speed! Okay, that's enough of that. Heart. Oh, more is that way. Okay, so. Yes, it means obviously. You that's want something? Yep, right friend? here. So. Lot, oh, good gravy! Spazzing out just trying to sit on a rock! So yeah, Laod and Namak. Not a hill, uh, Laod will be the first town we come. So the way these signposts work is kind of good to know. Um, the one on top is the one for the town that you'll come across first when you go that direction, which makes sense. It's just like over here, uh, it's going to have as well, I mean, well, actually no, that's not true. Because you're not going to run into Ebonheart first. Wait, are you? Hmm, that, actually that's a good question. Would you technically? That's Pelagia, Belmore. Oh! I guess in a way, technically, you would run into Ebonheart if you were to take the fork over this way. So they just kind of point that general direction. So technically, it would be closer. Well, either way. The local. But I think when you get to that one that fork in the road that splits, um, basically, you get. You know, do you want to go to Ebonhard or do you want to go to Balmora direction? I think about taking the Silt Strider is um, the, uh, you know, you get you you uh, get rested. So you get your fatigue back. And of course, here we are running. Our fatigue's going down because we're running. But if we stop running, which obviously is slow, we're just walking. Our fatigue will slowly come back up. Very slowly come back up. Oh, no. Oh no, I, I saw one of the monsters, the the worst monster in this game ever. Oh, I better not come over here. Oh no! Oh no, I don't know if y'all can see it. Oh no, not that thing. Oh, please stay away. Please. Don't come over here. I, I really am not in the mood for you guys. Should we come across the signpost here soon, maybe? Uh, oh, up right up there. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Stay over there. Wait, over that flying, anno uh, that flying uh, a nuisance. It's like the seagulls of this world, They're called cliff racers. Ugh. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah. So they're all this way. But we're gonna have to take the. We're gonna have to split. Notice how the scenery just changes so nicely. Oh, hello. A bit, I believe that's a um, oh god, I'm gonna get. I think the, I think the big ones are the bet, Betty niches. Yeah, these guys are actually very chill, they won't attack you unless provoked. Oh, it's a bull niche. Oh, the Betty niches are smaller ones. I got them, I got them confused. Yeah, they're um, well, they're interesting critters, obviously, as you can, as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just walk right up to it, and it's just like, eh. They usually don't care about you. There's a cave over there. We're not going in there. It's a trap. Well, okay, no, it's not really a trap, but those guys kind of hit a little hard. It's not very nice. It's getting dark. A lot of walking in this game. A lot of traveling. Because there is no... Oops. No fast travel. <laughs> No fast travel. Well, I mean, there is a form of transportation. Um, so, it's probably the one reason we will actually level up a certain thing of magic eventually. Ow! Rude! Just going down the hill there. Okay, so that's Satanine. Obviously, we don't go that way, so we need to keep going this way. Acrobatics leveled up after all. <laughs> There's the sun going down. Going up a little bit. Ooh, that actually looks really cool. Not gonna lie, that's pretty. Uh oh. Yeah, 
suspicious mud crab. Is it going to notice us? First off, we're actually kind of tired. Oh, uh, let's see. Where are all our... Okay, here we go. Just want one. There it is. Oh, God. Gotta beat it up. Beat it up. I know this is gonna zoom. Yay! Speaking of which, hand to hand with that back row. Beat it up. How's that? Something else attacking me? No, it's just a oh. Come on! Go away! I will I will be triumphant over you! Yeah, it's so ribbon combat, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, get him. Come on. Knock it over. Knock it over. There we go. Yeah. Ah, uh, go to level. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh no. Oh no, what is- Ah! No! Not you! Oh no, not you! I don't want any- You! Go the freak away! You stay away from me! Oh, I hate these things. They're coming out now! Oh, the plague! It's the plague! And you. Go away! You're disease. Oh, phew, at least I killed it. Oh, man! Good grief. Okay, I'm not I'm not diseased, am I? No, I'm not. Good. Okay, we're fine. Phew! I don't love them. Alright! The cliff racers are out in number. I don't like it. What's that? Oh! You! Oh, I don't have enough charge. Oh, well, that's depressing. Uh, do I have a different weapon? There we go. No, I'm going. Leave me alone. I'm gonna smack him with the sword. Go away. Yeah, that's my thought, punk. Get rid of their dead bodies. Oh, they don't have anything on them, though. What's the point of beating me up if you ain't gonna give me anything? I can't boo shit. All right, we gotta stay on the road. Oh my god, another cliff razor. Leave me alone. Well, it's official, everyone. We are being plagued terribly by the the menace of the skies and the menace of just playing this game in general. We are being attacked by the cliff racers. We're all doomed now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's our little town we need to be in. I wasn't planning on being here this soon, but I figured we'd come here now better than later. Okay. Oh, dang it, we're in town. We should have probably wait, raided out uh, outside of town. Oh, well, it's so dark. Nope, oh, wrong button. Alright, well, let's see here. So apparently, there is a menace. There is a pain in the ass, some kind of bandit or whatever, causing mischief and mayhem. Some, I believe he's out uh, that way. Uh, let's see. Can't remember which way it is to go. Jesus. Yeah, it's gonna be dark here, folks. Ah, oh, there he is. There's the fine fellow. All right, let's actually put the weapon away. Oh, let's make this fun. I think it's been 24 hours, hasn't it? Let's make this fun. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, do I have torches on me still? I do have a torch. I will put a torch on so that I don't have to worry about the, uh... Alright, you guys ready for this riveting fun? Let's see if we can also screw with him, too. May the wind be on your back. Oh, is that so, sir? I want to talk to you. Greetings! You should take care while in these parts. There are murderous outlaws about. No telling what might happen to an unwary traveler. 
murderous outlaws. Oh, yes. These are dangerous times. They'll rob you blind and cut your throat without giving a, giving it a second thought. It's a bad idea to carry anything of value on your person. In fact, it's probably best if you give me that gold of yours. Hundred septums, perhaps? I think you'll find the way less dangerous if you do. <laughs> so we can give him the money? Or we can refuse. Yeah, so, as you can see, this is a shakedown. He's basically saying, you know, hey, just... Give me, give me some money. Give me your money. Give me a little bit of money. You don't we'll have any problems, right? Yeah. Not gonna happen at all. <laughs> oh, I get a lurk! Yay, a lurk! <laughs> oh, you're not even gonna stick around for me to watch me beat up this guy. So I'm not gonna say, no, I ain't giving you my money, food. How does it feel to know death is near? <laughs> it seemed a small price to pay for your life. No matter, though. It'll, I'll have that gold one way or another. Oh, are you now, sir? Let's see if I can. Oh, gosh. He might actually kill me if I'm careful. Work. Oh, he can. Oh. Okay, he can be demarked. He is. Oh, he's running away! Oh, let's see if we can get him. Come on. For 30 seconds, he's scared of us. Come on. Come here, dude. Well, I guess I deserve that. <laughs> oh, well. That's pretty funny. Oh, well. Uh-oh, wait a minute. When was the last plan we saved? Oh, gosh, it was right here in the manor. I haven't even sold all the stuff in my... Oh, well, you know, that's how it works in this game. That's okay. Yeah, we were trying to steal off that guy. We're here. So much stuff right here. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. Hmm. Oh, oh geez, dark. Well, is that we're gonna have to do that all over again. That's okay. Hmm. I have a sneak suspicion about something. Just trying to get a look around here. No, nothing there. Oh, part of me just felt like there was some kind of trick to doing this. I just don't remember what the trick was. If there was a trick, I don't remember. Hmm. Oh, well. Alright, well, I guess we have to do all that all over again. <laughs> That's why saving is important, everybody. That way. Well, we're gonna have to go back to uh, Caldera. Repair everything, sell all the stuff to Creeper. I'm gonna save after that. Hey, Archibax went up! Yay! Good. Wait. I just went the wrong way. Oh my gosh, I'm getting turned around. <gasps> oh, it's one of those things! Ah, it's gonna drive me crazy. That's funny. Oh, it's funny. Okay. All right. Fine. 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 Be like that. Be like that. May I help you? No, I don't need any help. But thank you for the for asking. Oh, jeez. They're all gonna think I'm drunk trying to walk underneath all this. There we go. Make that a little bit brighter. That guy asks way too many questions. <laughs> I don't know what guy asked too many questions. It's not me, though. Can't blame huh. me. A visitor. What may I do for you? Is I don't need any help. I'm good, thanks. I'm listening. Please. They sort of like this. Sort of. All right, so we have to talk to her again. Literally have to backtrack everything we just did. Hey, dear. Trainers, there you go. Is that all? There. Keep moving. Keep moving. I'll, I'll keep moving then. Fine. Go repair over here real quick. Don't mind me, officer. I'm just coming over here to repair my stuff. You step. want something, friend? I don't need or want anything, sir. They're all the 
things, all the things. Thank you. May Bye. the wind be on. Okay. Always jump upstairs. That helps too. Be quick and many. Oh, well, how nice of you, sir. All right, here we go. All right, now it's back to bartering with the creeper. That sold to him. There we go. Sell all the crappy potions. Well, I shouldn't say crappy, crappy potions. Just the ones that we don't really want to keep. Sell the gold. Yes, you can sell your own gold. Don't do that. <laughs> all right, is that all there? I think. Yep, that looks like it's it. Oh, I forgot to sell the the Cerebral Grant. Let's sell it. There we go. That's better. I think that's exactly what I think we wanted. Is that not exactly everything. Oh, sell that fortify uh, strength. We don't need a whole lot of that. Okay, I think we're good now. All right, offer. Thank you. You've been very helpful there, creeper. Ha ha. All right, now this time we're going to save so we don't have to do all that again. There we go. Okay, well now. That was riveting and exciting, wasn't it? Khajiit, may your kills be quick and many. Aw, oh, they're so nice. Speak freely, friend. I don't need to speak freely right now. Thank you very much. How dare you? I'm just kidding. From where do you hail? Okay, so now we need to go all the way back. Running, hey, running, I... running, running, running. Is there something you need? How can I help you? Um, uh, what are these guys? Can I buy from you? No, service refuse. Is there something I can do? I buy you? from you. You have spells, though. Oh, he does have one of the ones I need. All right, I am going to buy this right now. There are reasons for this. I will explain later. Okay, is that the only one? So. Hello. I think the one. I hope you won't take too much of my time. You. Oh, dang it. He won't sell because I have sugar. Go ahead. I'm listening. I wonder if I can uh, make stuff right now. Oh yeah, restore fatigue. Yes, please. Let's go. Oh yes, let's go. Oh, I didn't make a lot there. I'm sad. Can I make anything from these? No, I cannot. Oh well. Can I buy anything off you? Uh, what do you have for spells? Okay, you don't have what I'm looking for. Okay. Yes, Outlander. So what what do you, do you want? offer? Okay. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need this later. Trust me. This is not. This is obviously not contributing to anything in particular. And since we get a discount because we're part of the Mages Guild. Never hurts. It's not much of a discount, but it does help. Thirty 
actually should do it pretty good for us. There we go. All right, that should do it for now. There is a reason I'm doing that May in particular I... right now. Hello. Is there something? You will see very soon, eventually. All right, we're gonna go back to Valmora. I'm listening. Please go ahead. She still spells. I think she does. Uh, she doesn't sell. She does sell Soul Trap. I think I will go ahead and buy that too. Trust me, this is gonna be good later. All right. Is that all? That's all for now. And you are just an alchemist. You do provide some training. You're probably thinking, why did you just put this as one of your major skills? Oh, for reasons to make things a little easier in the, in the long run. I have to keep clicking it though, it is a little, little frustrating. I keep forgetting that I don't have to keep uh, fiddling with it too much. It's a nice thing we have a lot of gold now, right? at a healthy 34 at the moment. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And we'll keep it there for now. And what about you guys? Uh, she doesn't have what I need. That's okay. What train do you offer? No, I don't want that. Never mind. Oh my very is there easy. something I can do for you? Let's see. No. Nothing yet. Oh yeah, we are going to want water breathing and water walking. Both of those. Very important stuff. Kind of training you have. Okay, we're gonna need that alteration up. Yeah, this is not leveling me at all. This is for later. Do you want something? And this will allow us to do stuff in the game without leveling too fast as well. Because then we won't be completely gimp with a lot of other things. We're basically making our lives a lot easier in the end. Especially being a thief build. Hello, Outlander. I hope you won't take too much of my time. take up that much of your time. I do not. How rude. Okay. What about you? I can't remember what you offer. Oh, dang it. She. Oh, really? Maybe she's the herb person. Okay, what do we have here? How much moon sugar do we have on us? It's worth 50. I can go sell to Ajira. Do you need something? Hello, dear. I will give you some sweet, sweet moon sugar. How much do you like me, Ajira? She likes me pretty well. There we go. Swift hunting friend. Oh, I see she really likes us because we give her some moon sugar. 
All right, will you barter with me now? Oh yeah, you sell, okay. What are the spells you offer? I don't want to spell, that's kind of silly. No, we don't want to do that right now. Okay, so what is your business here? I don't have any business. Bye. Actually, you know what? Wait a minute. Do you have how much are your standard health potions? So we're also going to wait. I have cure common disease ones, don't I? I already have one, don't I? I do. I only have one though. I should probably buy another one okay let's buy uh, let's buy three more that's not bad I think that's all I wanted to buy for now because I think some of the other ones are oh Actually, yeah let's buy buy two of these ones while we're here. There we go. And we'll buy three more There we go. Will you give me a deal, perhaps? Mercantile went up. That's good. And that counts towards our uh, leveling. That's good stuff. Always jump up the ramps. Oh, wait. I think she offered. I'm listening. Do you now? Ah, here we go. Uh, ooh, these are a little pricey. Gotta be careful. So yeah, this is where I'm probably gonna want to have this stuff here. So we have two scrolls of divine intervention. We will buy those. And then does she have? Uh, what else does she have here? Does she have Omsi intervention? Yes, yeah, she does. So, here's how these two work. Omsi Intervention and... Omsvi Oms, Oms, Intervention. Use that... You can either make the... You can either get the spell or you can get a scroll. When you cast it, it will teleport you instantly to the nearest Tribunal Temple. The tribunal Temple being of the uh, Dunmer variety. Uh, and then the Divine Intervention... Is exactly the same idea. It will teleport you, uh, but you will go to the nearest Imperial cult, and Imperial cults are at the Imperial Legion forts. So yeah, if you have both of them, both those kinds of scrolls or both the spells, pretty handy. Um, either way, especially if you know you're if you're out in the woods and you really need to get to a town of some somewhere, you need to get somewhere that has services of something for you. Um, you click on your map and go, all right, well, where's, which one's the closest, you know? How do I want to, you know, you can, you can plan it that way or just not worry about it. Let's see if she can give me a little bit of a deal. She gave me a little bit of a deal. I'll take it. All right. Thank you, my dear. All right. I'm a little broke now, but that's okay. That's why, that's why we get all that gold yes, in the first okay. place. That's why we have it in the first place. Right. The flea is speaking. I can hear the flea. All right, let's go ahead and save again one more time. Just one more good save. Let's be smart about this. Always save often. Let's not have to do us all over again. <laughs> ah. Ah. Excuse me. Ah. Oh gosh. <laughs> that felt weird. I'm not wearing earrings. I forgot to put earrings in today. Oh well. That's okay. I think one of my earrings is a really crappy metal because this side is uh, one of the, one of my the holes for my piercings and stuff. They are a little irritated. I hate having skin with expensive taste. It sucks. Yeah. So, if anybody has ever heard of the shops, the, the Claire shops, or 
the um, there was one called I think they came out with called Icing, which is like a branch of that Claire's, which is basically like a little cutesy girl. You know, I mean, boys could shop there too if they wanted to buy jewelry or items in there, but it was mostly marketed towards girls, particularly teenage girls. Um, that was the big thing for you know for me, especially when I went to the mall. That was one of the shops we'd always hit up, but. It was always a gamble, always a gamble for me buying jewelry um, in those in those shops because I uh, <laughs> I am allergic to essentially cheap jewelry. I know that sounds really silly, I'm, but to be fair though, I found out that there's a lot of uh, people out there, guys and girls alike, that are um, allergic to that kind of crap. Usually, like if it has a nickel in it or something. Um, my problem is, is I, I it has to be, it can be sterling silver, actual like sterling silver, silver, and I'm fine. Um, uh, stainless steel, of course, is always fine, <laughs> um, as it has to be <laughs> for reasons. <laughs> uh, gold, of course, platinum, that's fine too, obviously. Uh, yep, white gold, obviously. Yeah, but. Anything that is like, if it's, if it's silver, but it's painted and it's actually like a copper or nickel or whatever, it's, if it's basically of crappy metal underneath, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have gotten some seriously bad rashes and breakouts around the area that the metal touches, either like with my ears. Um, I, I can't wear, uh, belts with, uh, certain buckles because the metal on the buckles, if it touches my, where my skin is on my belly, I'll get a bad rash there. Yep. I think at one point that I, I bought a I bought a belt buckle. Uh, well, I, was, I don't know. I bought a belt that had a really pretty buckle on it once upon a time, long, long time ago. And uh, I loved the belt so much. I loved it so much. It, 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 you know, I just I thought it was great. It went with everything, you know. But you know, <laughs> every time I'd wear it, I'd either have to tuck a shirt in or. Um, I started doing that trick where I'd take clear nail polish and paint over the metal so I wouldn't touch my skin. Because otherwise, if it did, by the end of the day, I would have a bad rash right there. That was awful. I hated it so much. I hated it so much. It was so bad. So, yeah. Allergic to silver. Yes, dear. I, I do believe I remember that. Yeah. Um, I, do, well, I mean, to be fair, it's not like... I don't think I've ever bought you anything silver. I know to keep it gold, like, you know, white gold, yellow gold. Um, but of course, it's not like you wear a lot of jewelry anyway. <laughs> the only thing you wear is uh, the only thing you wear is your wedding band, and, and sadly, it's not even the original wedding band anymore because that gold just started bending and getting all flimsy and stuff. But that's okay. I'm glad we were able to find uh, uh, titanium. Did we do titanium or was it tungsten? I can't remember. I can't remember which one it was that we got for you. Now that I think about it. I have no idea. That stuff's awesome, though. I gotta admit, titanium? That's pretty badass shit right there. Okay, let's see here. Uh, latest rumors I've talked to. Yeah, Careless Travelers. Okay, so there's a Careless Travelers one where he would be greatly appreciated if we go to La Oda and take care of that problem, which we will. Let me see if I ask him some more questions. Advice? Uh, oh, he's just talking about... Okay. Let's, let's see here. Oh, it's tungsten? Okay. Oh, it's, I mean, it's still good. That's still good stuff. Okay, here we go. Oh! Little secret. Daedra, you know who they are, right? Well, Daedric shrines are where Daedra cults worship Daedra. Bad people who summon bad Daedra. Stay away from them. Why? Because Daedra are nasty, and the folks that worship them are even nastier. That's not always true. But, of course, he is an Imperial, and would be worshipping the divines and never be a danger worshipper whatsoever. Um, being a danger worshipper doesn't mean you're a terrible person in, in the world of Elder Scrolls. Okay? It's not how this works. Um, at the very beginning of the game, um, when the cinematic is rolling, you hear a woman's voice speaking to you that she's going to watch over you. You've been chosen. Um, that is actually a Daedric Prince. And all they're all called Daedric Princes, even the ones that sound feminine or look feminine. They're all called Daedric Princes. The one who's speaking to you is a Daedric Prince by the name of Azura. She's considered to be one of the more good Daedra. Because um, the Daedra are basically uh, gods in this uh, universe. Um, so yeah, there are good ones, fa fairly good ones, and there's fairly bad ones. 
obviously people who worship the bad ones are probably going to be the ones that have way more questionable morals <laughs> than the ones that worship the good ones uh, for obvious reasons so but yeah of course him being imperial he worships the he probably worships the d the divines um and of course this universe it would be the nine divines which um are um they i believe they were people that reached a divine state that became god gods themselves are godlike individuals that why they're called they like saints if you will for lack of a better term um so that's what he would probably be worshiping more so yeah then so you have the daedra which are actual gods and then you have the divines, which are individuals that became gods, essentially, or godlike individuals. That that's a very watered down version, I'm pretty sure. So <laughs> don't quote me on that entirely. I'm again, I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm a little shaky on some of my lore. Okay, so okay, so this was the trigger. So oh, okay, so I probably could have just shortened this though. So he gave me the bad people um, trigger, which is what I needed. Okay, here we go. So this is part of them right here. Oh, the bad people are the Kamona Tog. I thought everybody knew that. They are a criminal organization, unfortunately. I Unfortunately, I don't know who the Kamona Tong are. No one will tell me because I am an officer and it is against the code to tell officers things. The people of the Thieves Guild hate the Kamona Tong. I bet if you asked the Thieves Guild, they would cheerfully tell you who the bad people are and where to find them. Okay, so let's see here. Can I talk to him? Thieves Guild. Okay, in the Empire, the Thieves Guild is old and powerful, but here in Morrowind, the Thieves Guild is young and weak. The old and powerful criminal guild of Morrowind is the Kamona Tong. The Kamona Tong doesn't like the Thieves Guild. A lot. And the feeling is mutual. Yeah, because, I mean, Thieves Guild, yes, they're thieves, but they're not going to go out and murder people left and right just because um, they just want your things. <laughs> uh, but uh, Kamona Tong is basically like a mafia um, yes, they will steal, but if they have to kill you for it, they don't care. They don't give a shit. They'll kill you for it. Cold blood, they don't care. And they'll probably get away with it too, because usually they have rich people, um, working for them or working under them or whatever that they, you know, they could just get, they bail it. They bail people out, they bail themselves out. So they, you know, get swept under the rug. And a lot of times the officers can't do anything around here. My trade. Okay. Uh, no, doesn't have anything there. Material. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what I needed. Our civilization has brought peace and prosperity to all Tamriel. We place our faith in hard work, education, and discipline. We prefer free trade and diplomacy, but are not ashamed to use force. Work. Here we go. Aha! This was the trigger. God, you really got to get this guy to talk to you. You talk to people in Balmora, and eventually someone's going to tell you, again, like we ran into. Hey, so-and-so, this guy, Larius Varro, is looking for you down at Fort Moonwalk. Says he might have something for you. You should go see. You get here, and you have to freaking pick at the guy's brain to you know spill the beans sir what did you want me here for good grief Gah! through various channels i've learned a bit about your situation i'd like to tell you a little story and when i'm done you can ask me some questions and then maybe you might decide to go out and do some things you might and you might not that's your affair and i also want to tell you about a nice present i think the emperor wants you to have i'm not sure where it is Maybe you'll want to check back and see if I found it later, after you have done some things. All right, little story. Once upon a time, there was a bad magistrate who took gold from criminal organizations to reduce the sentences and fines of criminals. Everybody knew he was doing this, but nobody could prove it, because even if it could be proved, the bad magistrate had important friends, and proof is not as powerful as important friends. At the same time, there was a good officer who enforced the laws because he thought laws made people happy and safe. And it bothered the good officer that enforcing the laws did no good because the bad magistrate let the criminals go as quickly as the officer caught them. For a long time, the good officer sighed and said, what can I do? Because the, because the bad magistrate has important friends and nothing I can do will touch him. But then the good officer said, say, Wait a minute, what about the bad people who are bribing the bad magistrate? They haven't got important friends, and if they aren't around, then the bad magistrate can't get any more bribes. 
And even better, the good officer suspected that the bad people who were bribing the bad magistrate were probably criminals themselves. So the good officer decided that it would be good if the bad people who were bribing the bad magistrate should go away forever. So that good officer made a little special prayer that there would be a little bloodbath to wash the bad people away. There, isn't that a nice little story? Maybe not a perfect story, because it ends with a prayer and not a bloodbath. But maybe the story isn't over yet. So at this point, you click on bloodbath. The bad people in my story are five members of the Kamonatang. I know that they are a scout, a pawnbroker, a savant, a thief, and a smith, and that they are in Balmora. Unfortunately, I don't know their names, but maybe you can find their names and where to find them. And then maybe my story could have a happy ending with a little bloodbath instead of a little prayer. And now we scroll back up here and then you want to click on, if you want to, click on nice present. What is the nice present from the emperor? I'm sure I don't know. I think it is supposed to be a surprise. And as I said, I'm not sure where it is, but I might find it anytime. So check back and see if I found it later, after you have done some work. There we go. And time to go kill people. Yay! <laughs> Got to go get the Rona test. Co oh, the naughty word. Oh, no. Coworker tested positive. <gasps> oh, no. That's not good. Oh, no. Yep, even if you're being careful, there's always a chance. It sucks. Oh, man. Like, you have to go get it done now, or... Oh, be back shortly. Okay. Time to get school. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. It is kind of like that. I've seen what they do, and it's like... Why do they have to shove that that far up your nose? All the way up there. I don't get it. I'm pretty sure you don't have to do that, like, if you have a bad cold or a flu. Or, like, a regular flu. I don't know. It never made any sense to me. Can I sell anything? Well, I mean, I can barter with you, but I don't think, I don't think there's anything. You repair. No, okay, we're fine. All right, barter. Yeah, they don't really have anything I really want right now. Well, thank you, sir. Goodbye. Have a good day. Oh, wait. What does she have? Well, good luck. <laughs> yes, what I'm is sorry it? you have to have that done. Hopefully, if, if they got if they were tested positive, I'm hoping it's not because of their negligence. I well, I don't want it, I don't want it to be because of anybody's negligence, honestly, because that would just suck. You have anything? Uh, no, I mean you do have. She has a lot of restore. This is this is the restoration stuff here, which is fine. Um, heal companion. Hmm. I'll try to remember that. Or maybe should buy should I buy that now? I think I will. There's a reason I will buy that. And then what else do they have here? I will be working on um uh, I will be working on leveling uh restoration because restoration is really nice to have. I probably won't level every school of magic since I am a, a thief build, but I will have some magic. Magic that would be very to one such as me as a thief. It never hurts to be a little thing out of the Also, I should probably save because that was a lot of talking that that guy did. We will be going to La Ode fairly soon, but not yet. I will wait because then I, because then basic, because basically the when we go there, we'll be going there for another quest. There'll be two little quests we can do. Let's get back to town. We have to go back to the Thieves Guild anyway. Because we need to go ask them specifically who the members of the Kamona Tong are that we are looking for. And it's oh, the door. Pays to be a Khajiit. Jump, oh, jump. Freaking, she's always wandering back and forth, back and forth. 
fair travels, friend. Oh, thank you, my dear. You're very kind. All right. Again. Too bad it doesn't count towards uh, anything. Because it's just an ability we have. That's alright. Let's see. Alright, I should just be able to ask anybody. Can I talk to you, Sotil? How are you saying your name? See, bad people. There we go. If the bad people you are looking for are Kamona Tong and they're in Balmora, You'll find them at the Council Club Corner Club. They're the that's the local Kamona Tong hangout. The scout would be Vadusa Sathrion. Marasa Arin would be the pawnbroker. The thief would be Madrale Thurith. Savor Trendrel is the savant, the servant of uh, or 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 just uh, Andres Man, uh, Narano, who we have to get a key from, and then. Than, uh, Thanalyn Velas would be the smith. There we go. There is our update for that. So now we can go I'm ready, ready for it. anything. Go ahead. <laughs> Cute. All right, let's go and save again. Now we're not very high level, so we're gonna have to be a little careful here. So, yes, there will be death. <laughs> there will be lots of death. Hopefully not that much death with us. But um, these guys hit pretty hard. It's going to hurt a lot to deal with them. Uh, also, having that weapon is kind of pointless because they are um, they are all Dunmer, I believe. I think every single one of them are Dunmer. Um, so they are 75% resistant to fire. So, basically... The fire damage that I'd be dishing out to them is not really going to do a damn bit of good. I mean, the dagger will still hurt them. You're still getting, I mean, you know, it's like if you go up to someone and say, you know, I'm going to get, it's like saying, I'm going to get you with this hot poker. Fine. I'm resistant to the flames that are on that thing. Yeah, well, guess what? You're still getting stabbed with a sharp object. It's still going to hurt. It's, it's, <laughs> it's still not going to be fun to get stabbed with the damn thing. All right. All right, let's go see what we can do about these guys right now. I'm basically testing the waters because I don't know if I'll be able to deal with all these guys at once. There is a way to kind of make it easier on yourself. Let's see. Speak, traveler. All right, so yeah, here's here's the here's the smith. Now, also killing this guy will also be good too because there's another quest that um, will get triggered later that will actually work for us and our benefit. So, all right, so here, he's up here by himself. I just realized something. I don't know if my speech craft will be high enough because again, we have to do this without getting in trouble with the law. The best way to do that is to make them attack us. Where is that slave? Let's see here. Let's see if I can get him. Okay, that's not bad. Alright. Let's get him to like us. Ooh, not bad. Ah, now he likes us a lot here. Okay, let's see if we can... Ah, uh... oh, the taunt fail. Taunt fail. Nope, taunt success. Okay. No, it didn't work that way. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. Come on. Ah, damn it. <laughs> so, yeah. Taught the last one. That does it. Goodbye. He's going to attack us now. Be careful here. Die, Fetcher. Be careful. He can kill us. He hit us very hard. He's got a dwarven <clears throat> axe. Make sure he doesn't hit us. Up. Okay, we're doing good. And he's down! And no bounty, right? He attacked us. Yep, no bounty. We're good. So technically, we pissed him off and we are safe. Alright, he's going to have a lot of stuff on him. I'm probably going to have to... 
Okay, we're gonna dispose of his corpse. Oh, we're not over-encumbered, though. Yeah, but how heavy are we? Ooh, it's pretty heavy. Okay, we're gonna drop the clothes off. We don't have clothes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he yeah, had that. Yep. See that? The dwarven, uh, dwarven works. Yeah, that would have hurt if he actually landed a hit on us. Uh, look at all these repair goodies, though. They're heavy, though. So, yeah. We might, uh, we might not be able to have those on the whole time. Okay, so we were able to deal with him. So I'm gonna save. Alright, one guy down. We still have a few others to deal with. So, let's see here. So, this guy's the head, the proprietor. He's the one that you would, um, you know, barter with. He is not part of this. But these three right here, we have Savor here. There's Medusa. There's Madrasa. Marasa, sorry. Marasa, sorry. And the other gal is down over here. Let's see if we can piss her off down here in this corner. I'm waiting. So if we can get her away from them, that means we'll have to have three to deal with. Because if we go piss off the one, one of the ones up there, all three of them plus her will come running to attack us, I believe. So we want to deal with um, these very carefully and quickly. Okay. What kind of training does she offer? Yeah, now this is too expensive right now for us anyway. All right, so we're not going to worry about bartering or training with them. So let's see if we can get her to like. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's not liking that. Okay, let's see if we can bribe her. Oh, okay, that worked. Bribe her a little bit more. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Not bad. Let's see if we can taunt her. Uh-oh. This might take a little bit. Oh, she might be a little harder to uh, piss off. Okay, there we go. Okay. No. No, we're gonna have to bribe her some more. Aha! There we go. Got her. Ah, taunt success. That does it. She'll hit pretty hard too. Here we go. Attack me first, lady. Die, Fetcher. Now I can attack her. There we go. Oh, she's got that stupid. Oh, my, she's got a lightning uh, enchant on that sword. So we have to go. Oh, really? Oh, oh, oh. She's dead. All right, and we did not trigger anybody else. Good. Uh, what does she have here? Uh, we're gonna dispose of the corpse. Are we over encumbered? Yeah, we're over encumbered. All right. So what I'm gonna do? If I can. Let's see. Now you know what I'm going to worry about. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to drop off some stuff here. Right about here. These are very heavy. There we go. That lightened that load real quick. Alright. And we're going to get rid of this. Here we don't need all this. Alright. Alright. Get rid of that stuff. Alright. Let's save again. go. Alright. the sword away. So, let's see here. Um, these two, so he's the savant, so he's not going to be as dangerous to deal with. So we're going to see if we can get rid of these two first. Oh, well, wrong button. I don't want to barter with you. <laughs> Sweet, did you Nope, they don't like that. Nope, she doesn't believe me. Oh shit, she really doesn't like me. There we go. Ooh, speechcraft went up. That's good. Give her all this money, but. Nope, she doesn't like that. She wants more money. Oh, there we go. Okay. okay. Oh, she really gonna be hard to deal with. Okay. I might not be able to bribe this one very easily. Oh, there we go. There's one. She doesn't like that. Okay. No. No. Damn it. Nope. She's not gonna go for it. Okay. Let's see if we can. I'm, yeah, I'm giving her a lot of my money, but that's okay. I'm trying to get her to. I'm trying to get her to piss piss off here. Nope, she's not going for it. 
There we go. Got her. Okay, she's pissed off. Here we go. They're all gonna attack. I have you. Yeah, yeah see, right there. Okay, hang on. Let's get rid of you. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. We are getting hurt real bad. He's got a nasty weapon on him. Let's see here. Let's do three. Right on us there and see if that works. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. That might actually kill me. Oh, I'm already dead. Uh, which one was that? I think it was... I think it was... It definitely was the one with the weapon. Okay, sorry. I have to load again. Okay, so... I think we're gonna have to line of sight this. Let's see what happens here. Move. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to be a little smarter about this. So that one guy's got a very nasty weapon. Okay. Let's see. Come on. Hmm. Come on. Oh boy, it is a it is a lock level fifty. There we go. All right, let's open that up. Open this. Up. There we go. Wow, somebody was uh, basically beating stuff up in here, weren't they? Okay. Oh, okay, we gotta be smart about this. Let's see. Oh, is it a short blade? <gasps> Does shock damage. Okay. That might actually work out for our benefit. Okay. Okay. So, let's see here. Alright. Let's heal up a lot. We need to have make sure we are full health for this. Alright. Let's uh, also, since we did not use anything there, let's bring out the Eye of Fear. Just use this instead of going down there. And let's uh, see if I get lucky. my time is precious, so make it quick. So you're the one causing me problems. Nice, so with that, no, oh, she really is not gonna go for that because you can bribe her a little bit more. No, it worked. Oh, she's really, really not liking that. Oh, here we go. Come on. Yep, she went for it. Okay. This is the end of you, sweet. Oh gosh! Oh gosh, get, get it the Oh my gosh, they are not making this easy. Okay, hang on. Okay, so I I got them scared. Oh wow, they are oh gosh. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time with uh the controls here. We need to get another where's my potions here? Come on, where oh. Scare first. Let's see if we can deal with this lady first. Come on, hit, hit her. Come on, come on, hit. Go. Got Thirty seconds before that lady comes and gets me. Okay, you're done. Next one. Let's close that door. I can kill you in here. Come on, come on. Oh gosh, I have the wrong weapon on. Me. Okay, so let's go here. This back on. I should have another health potion here somewhere. Let's uh, put on a restore fatigue. And that's a standard restore health. Ooh, I forgot I had that. I have one health potion. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, wow, that really hurt. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's done. Come on, let's get it. Get it. Okay, good. Of course. There is no escape. Oh, she's gonna be good. Yeah, I don't kill her. Come on. Come on, your weapon doesn't last forever. Come on, lady. Got it, got it. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. And now that we've done that, close the door. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have our key to Morano Manor. Close a corpse. It's 
disposal corpse. We're gonna drop off this crap. Take all that. So hang on a second. We're going to drop all this off in this chest because we don't need it anyway. so annoying. And I get why they do this. <laughs> Come here. Uh, let's see here. Come on. There we go. Oh, arrows? Yeah, sure. That. Take all of that. Alright, let's drop it off in here. Oops, nope, keep the weapon. We're probably gonna sell the weapon. That's a long blade. Yeah, we'll probably repair and sell that. We don't really need that. That iron spark blade I might hold on to. That is actually really handy for a little bit. It's pretty good. It's probably better than just having that little dagger. Might be a good idea to hold on to that for right now. Anything else? I don't need any guides. Get of those. All right, and we got our key. There we go. What else is in here? Ooh, Sierra de Brandy. Nice. Keep those there for now. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to pretty much kill everybody in your establishment, but you know. Tell your friends. Like we place. do around here. Ooh, man. We should probably uh, heal up around here. Okay, so let's go ahead and save because we were successful. We did kill them. We killed all the bad people. All the awful bad people. Probably. Let's see. All right, there we go. Oh gosh, it is dark around here. There we go. Much better. All right, now I think we got some stuff for. Okay, to restore health. Ooh, that's not bad. Actually, I think I'm gonna hold on to that and see if I can find another restore health item. I need to, I need to probably buy some more uh, restore health something or whatever. Ah, no, don't do that. Yeah, I know our health's pretty low, but we're gonna leave town. We're gonna go. And we didn't get a bounty. We did not get a bounty because they attacked us first, right? Yep, we're good. We're in the clear. <laughs> we are safe. Good stuff. All right. Back to Fort Moon Moth. Ow, oh, jeez. Dark. Restore. Where's our restore fatigues? Here we go. Put that on. Ah, oh, having alchemy is amazing. I am at peace. Or maybe not. I hate that. I hate that feeling. But it feels like I'm gonna sneeze. It's gonna happen, I swear. Nope. Nah, just kidding. Apparently. I hate that feeling. Ah. Mm. It's always not very satisfying when you're like, I, I hate to sneeze, but after it happens, that, that relief is always nice. So when it doesn't happen, it's like, oh man, I feel cheated. <laughs> Yay, acrobats went up. Oh, my, oh, that's weird. I wonder why it's doing that. Whoa, that's weird. I just, yeah, huh. That's weird. There must be something. There must be something I'm doing. I don't know I don't do anything. Well, give me a moment. I, yeah. I need to take a break anyway. I just saw that I've been sitting here for yes. about an hour and a half here. So, excuse me, sir. Jeez, <laughs> get out of my way. I could lean back a little bit. It's pretty comfortable anyway, because I love my chair. Okay, there we go. Oh, nope, 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 no weapons drawn. Don't do that. All right, let's yes. talk to this guy real quick. All right. Yes, is this about that work I mentioned? Maybe. I see everything's been taken care of. And remarkably enough, 
without creating any problems of a legal nature. You are far more discreet than I had hoped. I'm so glad I found that nice present from the Emperor. Here, it seems to be a ring, a very nice ring. There was no note with it, I'm afraid, but I'll let the Emperor know you've received it. I'm sure he'll be pleased, and also from me, because of your exceptional discretion, take this special volume from my own library with my compliments. So yeah, we got Ring of Surroundings and the Biography of the Wolf Queen. Yes, that ring is pretty darn schnazze. So first we're going to read this lovely book, which will give our speech craft a nice little raise up. And now for that ring. Where's that ring? There go. There it is. So, Ring of Surroundings. We have to cast when used. We are, it's Chameleon's Us 20 to 30% for 30 seconds on self. That's pretty, pretty nice. You don't have to be wearing it, obviously, because it's a cast when used. But it's good to know. Good to have for that. Okay. All right. Well, I think I will be taking my break now is a good time. I'm going to save since we got our present and we did our thing. There we go. All right. And with that, I will be right back, everyone. Also, apparently I fixed my, <laughs> my lighting situation. I didn't even see that. So, yeah, I'll fix that, too, while I take my break and get something to drink or whatnot. I shall return very shortly, everyone. <laughs> 